Oh, God damn it. Sorry, I am so sorry. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is David. Welcome to this crazy uh, plant channel where it's all about house plants. So honestly, I should be more professional in these videos, but yet again, I'm very raw and real. <laughs> and as you guys can see, I'm going to be sharing with you how I got rid of muddy bugs. And I'm gonna like just get, get straight to the point because I tend to ramble a lot, which is great for YouTube and watch time and stuff like that. But I know it is very annoying when watching and searching a video and um, then I'll get straight to the point. So I'm gonna get straight to the point, but I'm also gonna give you guys some background history. Girl, my English is not the best. My experience with um, is basically neem oil. That's literally all you need to use, you guys. So <laughs> I have this one linked down below. It is pretty pricey. That was one of the... This, it's like It has really good reviews on Amazon. Like I said, I will have it linked down below because I'm really scared. Okay, so <laughs> it's neem oil and this one has a specific chemical inside from what I saw that also prevents it like the plants absorb it or something and then when the bugs bite it, it kills them or it makes them like have issues and they die. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. I am not a, a scientist. I am not a houseplant expert. I am just like a lot of y'all that is crazy about plants. So yes this thing actually works it, like i said it was expensive like this was like i can't say the price because i'm like in trouble it's one of the guidelines from amazon but it's really she's a little bit up there okay but if you have like oh my god i just squeezed it and just smug it on me so <coughs> and i just inhaled it <laughs> but yeah so this is literally it uh, the way to use it, the directions literally tells you exactly what to do. It is really, really good at doing that because some directions out there are just so confusing or maybe I'm just way too dumb. But basically you get a one and a half teaspoons of neem oil and then you get half a teaspoon of mild liquid dish soap. I looked it up in, um, what do you call it? That blue dish soap, Dawn, I think it's called Dawn. It's the best one to use um, or any other dish soap that you have out there, but Dawn is really good and that's the one that I used. And then you get some amount of quarts. Where's the quarts? Okay, cool. So you get one quart of water, and then you get, like I said, one and a half tablespoons of neem oil, half a teaspoon of dish soap. You mix that goodness around. You put it like in a spray bottle, and you spray your plants all over. Now, some plants are delicate. I did notice that my trial store Stramanti got burned, which again is a Calathea or Stramanti, but like it's, I think it's like in the same family. They're pretty sensitive, but even though it's a hardy plant to look after, like it, I think it's a hardy plant. Like it's not. It's easy to look after, but she don't like neem oil. Like her leaves got a little bit crispy. I guess I can show, um, she's all over to the top. She got a little bit damaged, but I think I don't really mind it getting that damaged. As long as the melly bugs go away, that's my biggest thing because it can literally destroy your entire husband collection if you don't get on it. And a little bit of a sacrifice. You know, she did it for the family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Haven't seen that movie, by the way. I just keep seeing it on TikTok. Um, it's perfectly like fine for me. Just get rid of the melly bug situation. And even then, I know they're gonna come back. So girl, I am ready. And half a, one and a half teaspoons of this is a lot. Like I said, this one, I can't even see the price, but it's, it just literally click the link, you're gonna see the price. Yeah, I can't really tell y'all. <laughs> I don't wanna get in trouble, but it's gonna last you a good amount of time. And I only used it once and it literally kept my melly bug situation at bay. And as I'm talking, I literally just jinxed it because that's the person that I am. And I just see, I see melly bugs in here. So um okay this plant's really interesting with money bugs we're gonna go and by the way so oh i haven't even told you what i do so basically to get what i do is so like i told you neem oil is a solution also rubbing alcohol you basically just get i i literally got the one it's like 50 percent diluted i got it from dollar tree oh, i think it's 20 percent diluted i'm not even sure but then even then i diluted it with half i put half of that on a, on a bowl and then i get a, on a cup and then i got the other half with water and then i just literally um, spread it on my plants. Didn't really saw that much of a change. And then I just got the entire bottle, not even diluting it. I got a Q-tip. I dabbed it on the rubbing alcohol. And then, um, is it even called rubbing alcohol? Girl, that, that thing, yeah, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. And then <laughs> you place it on the disgusting many bugs. They're very visible and really easy to find. They're not fast, they're very, very slow. So it's really easy to burn them. In other words, you just literally get some Q-tips, um, rubbing alcohol and you just start burning whatever you see as visible to get rid of them and then you get your um, neem oil mixture you soak that entire plant to the cracks of that plant okay we're getting personal here 
and it's gonna go and get rid of the mealybugs. I know because it literally got rid of a lot of plants. I had a plant that was infested badly with mealybugs and I did this mixture, I sprayed it down. I didn't even, I, I honestly didn't even did the, the, the burn alcohol like treatment because that was just way too much and I was already done that day. I got, I placed it in the shower and then I washed off whatever I saw because they get knocked off pretty easy. And then I got the Nemo and I soaked that entire plant. I left it there for literally two days and the guest restroom or guest bathroom in the tub. And then I, it's good. I don't see any more Melly Bugs on it for weeks. Um, so it works, y'all. If I think, and it's crazy how I literally just got this because like I have so many plants. Like if you have this many plants, literally like this is a no brainer. You should really use some neem oil. It is also from what I heard organic, like safe to use for the environment. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I should probably just shut up. Um, this works. And uh, the first thing you want to do, honestly, you got to do this step, but I like to do it because it's really satisfying. You burn them with the rubbing alcohol, you know, make them suffer a little bit. And then you do this as treating them as well as a prevent preventative. And then the same day, I got my big spray bottle and I soaked my entire collection with the mixture that I made. And I haven't seen any more bugs, but I just jinxed it because this plant has so many bugs that are visible. So... I'm gonna go and do the mixture again. I'm gonna um, walk around my plants, burn off whatever I see visible, and then I'm gonna go fill this up with a mixture of the neem oil and soak my entire collection. I don't really care if I'm gonna burn some leaves because it will just grow back. The leaves are gonna grow back, but the medi bags gotta go. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Maybe it's not, I'm not even sure because I gotta edit this video and then go, I gotta go back to work, but make some food first, my brother and my boyfriend. But yeah, so and this was for like $7-ish at, um, what do you call it? Lowe's. Pretty affordable. Highly recommend. You just pump it. And I think it still has some. Girl, it has something inside. And then <laughs> you just do this and then you spray You press this. And it, I'm pretty sure y'all know how this works. You press it and then just like automatic, like, you know, it makes life a lot easier. Instead of you like t -t 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 doing it all, it hurts, you know, your thumbs. You get like a little bit of cramps in your thumbs. But that's basically how you get rid of neem oil, you guys. This is not such a professional video, but yet again, this channel is not ever. Uh, per, uh, this channel is not a professional channel. <laughs> it, sh it probably should be a little bit because we're, we're growing pretty big. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna still keep it real with y'all and raw, cause like, I don't know. I just feel like more connected with y'all. It's like like a bestie. It's like we're besties. You know what I'm saying? Like if you guys just just came to my apartment and you wanted how I. Uh, treat emily bugs this is literally what this basically is so thank you for inviting me <laughs> uh no but honestly it's i i literally love neem oil at this point oh i forgot to even mention it stinks so bad now by the way i'm being very i'm a very dramatic person it's not that bad it's bearable but it smells like garlic and onions and you put it like in a container you covered it and you left it outside where it was hot and humid and then you got it, you opened it one week later. That's exactly how it smells. Not really, I don't, I don't really know. I'm just guessing, but it stinks. And I literally had the windows open like for four days and I can still smell it, but it's been pretty, the things have been calming down. And by the way, one more thing that I want to mention as well, my girl on the very top, this humongous Brazil, let me give you guys some close-ups. Some pictures about this girly at Instagram. And a lot of people were telling me like, do you shine your leaves? Like, what do you use to shine your leaves? Girl, I didn't even do nothing. I literally just sprayed the neem oil. Like, pst, that's literally it. Like, no effort <laughs> at all. And this is the most beautiful leaf I have ever seen. If you see, if my nose are dirty, I'm sorry. I was like repotting some plants and I was getting some soil from my boyfriend. But um, this is really, really pretty. And yeah, like, if you guys look closely, you guys can see like the spots of the neem oil, which I, I should probably rinse it off. So as you guys can see, you can literally spread it on your Brazil and you'll be perfectly fine. It really makes your plants look shiny. Like this specific plant looks really pretty. A lot of the other ones just look eh, like just it's whatever. Beautiful sepal blue. I am probably getting some more sepal blues. And the ones that have outside those are for the giveaway, which are going to be very soon. But yes, neem oil is great to shine your leaves. And honestly, I might do that for one video. <laughs> so yes, people have been asking me like, what do you use to make those leaves look so pretty? Girl, just spray some neem oil. You don't even got to rub it because <laughs> I didn't. And it looks beautiful. So shiny. As you guys can see, it is not a lot. Um, I did rambles a lot, but I, I gotta do it, y'all. I gotta do it for YouTube. Um, <laughs> short videos don't perform really good in here, okay? Per. But uh, neem oil works. You can do the rubbing alcohol. I just find it very satisfying to burn them, but it's... You can do it as, like, a second... 
um safety but you didn't really gotta do it i just find it really satisfying i really really do like i want to burn them right now um i sound like a psycho i sound like a crazy person it's just i don't like many books they're just so i don't like many books okay per so yeah you guys that's basically it thank you so much for watching i do want to remember with you guys even more but i don't want this video to be way too long because because girl i'm pretty sure you got better things to do than just watching my cringy videos <laughs> so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i'll see you on the next one bye oh something positive advice to each and every single one of y'all as well something positive advice because we all need that right now okay bye <laughs> i don't even know why i still do that like what